What are the symptoms of a long-term addiction to opioids? Um, this is a tough thing to pick up because sometimes people gradually progress and their addiction becomes deeper and deeper and it's not so obvious to close family. Um, the weight loss that occurs, a lot of people just, it happens so slowly that the family uh, doesn't really pick up on it at first. Uh, same thing goes with the behavior and mood changes. So these can include things like irritability, um, labile moods, meaning they can have rapid mood swings, and this relates to when they're high or if they're going through withdrawals. Uh, so they tend to be loving and laid back and them, uh, quote themselves uh, when they're using, but uh, when they're going through withdrawal off opioids, it's very uncomfortable and they become very irritable and moody. Uh, they can go through uh, periods during, during this time, they can go through periods of sweats, chills, nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea. Um, unex unexplained or unexpected absences is another sign there. Uh, this tends to happen when people are feeling uh, hungover or they're going through some form of withdrawal and they end up missing school uh, or work or they're, they're showing up late. Uh, for appointments. Uh, so that's, that's an, another indication right there. Uh, the weight loss is obvious. Other physical signs uh, can be roughening of the skin, um, acne, uh, they just don't appear well um, and when they're going through withdrawal again they could appear ashen like off-colored, light, uh, light colored, grayish, sort of greenish colored skin. Um, so those uh, are the general signs of somebody who's been using uh, for a long time. The weight loss is a giveaway, uh, so that's one way. To detect if somebody's been using, uh, it's actually fairly easy. There are, if you can somehow grab a urine specimen that they're not expecting, um, and it needs to uh, be treated with care, uh, so there's no possibility of adulteration uh, attempts of the urine, but that's one way of picking up if somebody's uh, been using. Another way is a hair sample, and there are plenty, plenty of private labs out there uh, that charge a, probably a good fee, but uh, these hair tests can look to the last three to six months of use and can pick up uh, a whole host of uh, drugs in their assays. So that's the best way to tell if somebody's been using uh, if you're uncertain. Uh, so there are, I guess to summarize, there are some uh, plenty of giveaways that are easier to see in hindsight, unfortunately, but uh, the telltale signs can include changes in mood, uh, fluctuating mood, weight loss, um, unexplained absences, uh, and to summarize again, to pick up on this, uh, obviously speaking to the person about it, but a lot of times there's a lot of shame and guilt associated with it and the user tends to hide this information. I know this because I am somebody in long-term recovery. In such situations, if you really want to detect uh, the, what the truth is, because a lot of times they will go to extreme lengths uh, to cover up and lie, this is part of the addiction and we don't want to cast judgment on them, but this is a part of it uh, because of the shame. But to get around that is to uh, do a, a hair sample test. Uh, this allows people to look back uh, at past three to six months of drug use. If you or a loved one are looking for help with substance abuse, call our 24-7 helpline at 1-800-615-1067. A caring addiction advisor is awaiting your call. Mm -hmm.